If you enjoy tennis, you may have watched the women's finals at Wimbledon in England yesterday. One of the two finalists was a lady called On Jabour. Ons comes from Tunisia and at the moment is the highest ranked African and Arab tennis player in the world. She's a real trailblazer, a real inspiration. And in a country where the Arab Spring uprisings began in 2010, she is just a source of joy and happiness. So much so that the country have called her the Minister of Happiness. And as believers in Jesus, we have our own Minister of Happiness. On this bright new day, we've got lots of reasons to be cheerful in spite of events that are happening around us. And I've just written down a few here to consider. And firstly, that God is in control. God is seated in the highest heaven and he's not going anywhere. He's not moving. He's not handing his notice. He's not going to resign. There's nothing that's going to happen today that will faze him. Secondly, there's nothing that escapes God's attention. And the Bible tells us that even the hairs on our head are numbered and there are a few bees buzzing around these roses. The little birds are darting in and out of the bird box. There are blackbirds and seagulls behind me making their noises, chickens squawking somewhere. And God knows about each one of these individuals, each one of these creatures, and it pleases him. We are the apple of God's eye. Thirdly, he is the source of our salvation. Romans 6.23 says this, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God through Jesus Christ our Lord is eternal life. And that in itself should be a source of joy, a source of inspiration, a source of happiness for each one of us. Next, God can meet your needs. There's no mountain in your life that God cannot move. There's no darkness in your life that God cannot pierce. There is nothing that will faze God this day that perhaps just seems impossible for you. There was a blind man that in the Bible and when Jesus was passing by, he called out to him, do not pass me by, do not pass me by, Lord. And God heard him, God in his son Jesus heard him and changed that man's life. He changed his story. So if you think your needs are just impossible to meet, just remember that God is the God who can change your story, who can change your testimony from darkness to hope to joy. And finally, God loves you. God's great love and mercy sent his only son Jesus so that you could be forgiven, you could be rescued, you could be saved. And that, again, is a source of happiness for each of us as believers in Jesus. So, my friends, we have the minister of happiness in our lives. Lord, as we go out this day, that we would remember that you would put a spring in our steps. You would give us joy in our hearts, that we could just go out and be a light for you, a source of inspiration in these dark times. And Father, just as the sun is shining around us, in, in particular here, Father, I just ask that the sunshine of your love would just radiate in my life, in the life of all those who are listening here today. Amen.